We have five stages through which a video goes from being just an idea all the way to being posted. But before we get into the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. What is up everyone? My name is Khan and I run a video agency for real estate professionals right here in sunny South Florida. And in today's video, we're going to be going over how we use Trello to organize our content workflow. Now, it's super important to understand that we're not just pressing buttons, hitting record, and posting videos to the internet. The very first thing we're gonna do when working together is ironing out your brand specific video strategy. And the reason we do that is so that we can actually create a game plan that we can execute to help you stand out. We're not just creating videos to create videos. There's no reason to just integrate video into your business because everyone else is doing it. The idea is to create a game plan to make sure that we are creating tailored marketing content that speaks to who it is exactly you're trying to attract to your business. And while all of that is super important, that is not the focus on today's video. In today's video, we are focusing on after that and how we use Trello to organize our content workflow from A to Z. First things first, we have our ideas list column. And essentially here you can find generally three main buckets of content that ideas will exist within. After we bang out your brand specific video strategy, as I mentioned already, we use this column as basically a master list of running ideas that will fall into really these three main categories. Next up, we have the next shoot column. Here we will create cars from the idea list column once we have determined what videos we're doing for our next shoot and we'll basically move them into the next shoot column. Now in this column, you'll see in parentheses review right next to it. And basically all this is, is the first draft for the video scripts. The pre-production phase is super important and it definitely should be collaborative. While we do write your video scripts, it is important for you to add, delete, or revise, or possibly put things into your thoughts so it's as personable to you. Now, sometimes that isn't always necessary, but it's there for review a couple days before the shoot, so you're nice and well prepared. Next up, what we have here is the filmed column, which is pretty self-explanatory. So we'll move these cards from the next shoot column after a successful shoot day into this column here. And basically it allows you to track the progress of the videos once I start working on them in post-production. As you can see, as we're working through the workflow, it's basically just a way for you to track the process be hands off while also still being able to be hands on at the same time. Next up, we have the edited column. So again, this column is also pretty self-explanatory, but essentially once we film the videos and I start working on them in post-production, I'll move them from filmed to edited once the first draft of the edit is done. So what we'd like to do here, as you can see, is we'll actually go in the comment section of this card, which is right below the video script, and we'll copy and paste the link to the first draft of the video, and then we'll at you so that you get a notification that it's ready for review. From there, you can reply back in the comment section. We can start a dialogue about what we wanna change, if anything at all. And lastly, once the video has undergone revisions, if there were any at all, we can move the columns from edited into posted once they have been distributed. So again, this simple five step process is not meant to be rocket science. It's really just meant to facilitate communication, facilitate logistics and make things as easy and going with as little back and forth as possible. And just a quick side note, I'm gonna scroll over here to the last column. And this is basically what I like to call video optimization. And these are more or less templates that kind of make sure the back end of YouTube and Instagram is all taken care of from an SEO point of view. And just so you know, depending on what capacity we're working together in, these templates here are all SEO backed, they're all researched like I just said, but they're kind of meant to be copy and paste for each YouTube video and Instagram video just to make your life a little bit easier. Again, this is more of the technical, the more back end side of YouTube and Instagram, things like that. But I do have this column set up for you that kind of goes hand in hand with the posting column. And there you have it. Wanted to put together a quick video for you guys, just so that you know what it's like to actually work together month to month. I think this workflow, it's again, not rocket science, but it does make things easier from a communication point of view and from an operations point of view. A lot of you guys are super busy and you just don't have the time to go back and forth with text calls, emails, Zoom calls. This puts everything in one place and it's basically a portal that serves as a one-stop shop. If you have any interest in working with my video agency and I, whether you're right here in sunny South Florida or maybe you're in Southern California, we can take care of you. All of my contact information will be in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.